Welcome back to Amputee University. Hope you're all well and good. Um, I'm on a roll today, so I'm going to keep going. I want to talk about step two um, of coming home after an amputation. Remember step one I talked about just healing and getting back home. I think that should be your focus. So let's talk about step two and let's say you just got home. So it's kind of a a tough mental thing in terms of the shock of this new life that you're going to be living, I suppose. Um, you're home, you're finding out very quickly, things you used to do very easily are not so easy anymore because you don't have that leg. And to compensate for that leg, when you first come home, you're either in a wheelchair or on crutches. So if you're in the wheelchair, you have to change a lot of things at home, including probably the entrance to your house. Um, and it's tough to navigate a wheelchair around a house. It's hard to get things out of the cupboards and et cetera. Um, when I first came home, I was on crutches, which I personally think is going to be easier uh, and more of a long-term solution as an amputee. Um, I use the crutches that go all the way under your arm. Some people use the crutches that wrap around your forearm and your, your arms are always occupied. You can't use your hands. So over the years, I've been able to manipulate the crutches that go under my arms. I've been able to move them and still use my hands. In the morning when I wake up, I can empty a dishwasher. I can take care of the dogs. I pretty much do everything I can do with my prosthetic leg. It's just a lot harder. Um, so by 7.30, 8 o'clock, uh, on a weekend, I have my leg on. During a weekday when I have to go to work, I have my prosthetic leg on by uh, 6, 6 o'clock, and I'm out and about doing stuff. Um, so that's a big life change, understanding that a lot of things you did before, you can no longer do. Um, not the same way, at least. So when you first come home, your residual limb is still healing. Um, it's still going through a lot of changes. You're not in a prosthetic leg right away. Um, you're just getting used to being in that house again. Um, and I really encourage this. Your family's gonna wanna do everything for you. I, w I really would try to do as many things as you can on your own. Hopefully with crutches and not a wheelchair. If you have to use a wheelchair, that's fine. If you know, you're you're pretty strong and you're pretty capable. I would really encourage crutches just because you can get around the house a lot quicker. You have to learn stairs. Um, I would like to do a video on that. Um, safely navigating stairs and, you know, just getting around the house safely. A big one's going to be waking up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Make sure you have a night light on so you can see and make sure... You know, you're working on that crutch work every day, getting better, more confident, more stable. Um, so like I say, in the middle of the night, that's gonna be the trickiest time. Um, a lot of times when I, even now, after 35 years, I go to bed, it's kind of dark. I bump into stuff and it's, it's kind of dangerous. I gotta make sure I can see. So make sure you can see when you get up. So crutch work is huge. Uh, if you're in a wheelchair, that's a little bit more difficult in my opinion, but you got to do what you got to do. But again, don't let everybody do everything for you. You got to learn how to do it on your own. You have to learn how to adapt to, to, the, new, to the new life. So step two is getting proficient on those crutches, getting comfortable in your home again, um, kind of accepting and understanding what you can do and what you can't do and what's going to be modified in terms of what he used to do, um, and be patient. Um, some of you are gonna wanna jump right into a prosthetic leg, and a fresh amputation is a different ball of wax because that has to heal, it's gonna shrink, your socket's gonna change, there's gonna be a lot of touch and go with that. Um, so be patient. Step two, come home, get comfortable, understand what you can and can't do, and I'm gonna get into step three next time. Step three is gonna be more about building up your body and beginning the process of a prosthetic leg. Again, that's gonna take some time. And we also have to talk about that deal because not all prosthetists are created equal. 
just like doctors. Um, we'll talk about that soon, later. Oh, don't forget, I keep forgetting. Please subscribe and or like this video. Guess what? I thought I was done with step two and I just remembered possibly the most important thing, your bathroom. Um, the shower being the trickiest thing. Toilet, um, I never had an issue with it. I didn't need any special handles or things. You may or may not need that, but the shower is the trickiest thing because you can no longer step into the shower. So if you have the shower with a little lip, that's actually more dangerous than the big lip thing because at least that you could sit on it and spin around and get in the tub. When you have this little thing, you got to figure out how to get over it. So you might want to crutch into the dry shower because if it's wet, it's very slippery. Crutches are extremely dangerous if it's wet. Be careful of that too. So you as an individual have to figure out how you're going to navigate that. I personally hang on to something and I hop in. I can hop over it. <laughs> Not the safest thing, but that's what I do. Um, so, for example, my shower has that little lip. And I started, I just came up with this new move where I can grab the, the shower door part and then there is a handle in my shower. And I kind of grab both of those and I kind of hop in easily. Before it was grab the handle and just hop in. You should grab something if you're gonna hop in, if you're of that ability level. Otherwise, you're gonna have to crutch in or something. That's the tough one. Um, and again, everybody's a little different, so what works to me may not work for you, but you gotta figure it out. You gotta figure out your house, your shower, how you're gonna do it. Um, but whatever we do it, please be safe, because that is probably the most dangerous time. Um, and personally, I don't sit in the shower, I stand, okay? I have the ability to stand for 15, 20 minutes about it without an issue. Some people can't. So you might want one of those seats in the shower if you need so. Um, only you know you. So that is the last critical thing I believe you have to figure out when you first come home. There's a ton to figure out and we're going to talk about it all. All right. Thank you again. Please subscribe. Um, please like this video. I'll see you later. Good luck.